I've acted like a mad woman <laughs> at times. There, there's, there's two that spring to mind. Actually, one particularly, um, my son was, he had an 11 plus exam, mm. like the next day. He was going to training the evening before. And um, I was real hell bent on him. You know, if you go into training, you're still gonna have to revise, right? And I, I made a cube out of paper and I folded it up and in the car, I said to him, right, you need to tell me what the volume of this cube is, right? And it was like, I think he was just a bit like stressed. Like he was taking his time to work out the volume of the cube. By the way, I don't know how to work a volume of a cube out, right? <laughs> but I didn't expect that he would. And he, he wasn't doing it fast enough. And I'm like, well, what do you mean you don't know? Well, why am I training? Why do we get to training if you can't even work out your volume of a cube? And, and he got so, bless me, just burst into tears. I mean, I was screaming and he reminds me of it now. He's like, mum, you really? we were like a mad woman. And I'm like, what was going on? And he was so upset. And I was like, oh my God, but on the way to training, how do I, it was a self-reflection very quickly. Mm. How do I mm. expect him to actually go out there and do his stuff when I've just created this stressful, environment for him sure. and the fact that he reminds me of that every now and again the way i was because it's one of the worst moments for him sure. um, so i i i did i had that i, I do self-reflect on things like that it was a because it was a moment where i've got a child who doesn't really cry doesn't really get upset he's quite a happy sure. kid that clearly I'd created a very stressful situation. Like he loves going to training and all of a sudden he's rocking up, you know, having had a crying fit, being upset and stressed. And I was like, wow, no, I, you know, that's, that's not, that's not good. Um, mm. So, you know, luckily there's been no more 11 plus exams since, <laughs> but there are GCSEs coming up. So, <laughs> but that Correct. was, yeah, that was a, an aha moment. And one that I often, you mm. know, I've recounted um, with, with that several times. And the other one, I was watching him play a match and um, something happened with another youngster on the field and <laughs> out of my mouth, and it was a, an opposing team, I just said, for F sake, like, cause it was like a missed pass or something. And the dad of, you know, on the other side just looked at me and said, they are only kids. And I was like, <gasps> God, yes, mm -hmm. they are. And again, those sorts of things had made me kind of take stock and think, yeah, you know, this this does not the effect that, that you want to have. I got really embarrassed by that, actually. So that embarrassment made that I don't want to feel like that again. He put me in check. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying, like, when this is how we learn when we reflect on our experience. Do you see what I mean? So reflecting on your experience think about your thinking in that moment where were you to have said what you did to have done what you did in terms of being in the car with the cube do you see what i mean there was part of you that wanted your boy to be revising etc cetera, etc cetera. so when you're asking about what gets in the way it's it's thought because you and i know cat that everything and this might seem a little bit abstract to people listening who aren't aware of this concept, but this is why my practice is called thought-based therapy because everything derives from that thought we have in the moment, be it a conscious or unconscious one. You know, we have this thought about something that needs to be done, but quite often it needs to be done now, 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 now. You need to tell me the volume of a cube. Now, how many people are actually Googling? What is the volume of a cube? Do you see what I mean? That are listening to this, yeah, now I know that. Do you see what I mean? So, but there's something about that need we have in the moment. There's a need that we have that needs to be met. But at what cost? Because the cost of anything isn't always financial. It could be emotional, psychological, but then it's carried on. <laughs>